Hey, welcome to Resource Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome to the new subscribers. I certainly do welcome you, appreciate you, and thank you. This is 90% of my food supply as a prepper, long-term storage, from downstairs in the basement. Once again, just recapping, if you look at the prior videos, you'll see how far I come. This is blankets, medical supplies, and food all the way over up and down so if you say i have 50 pounds of rice and some cup of noodle soups and i'm good to go you couldn't be further from the truth i aim to thrive in an shtf which i believe will happen this spring or summer because of the division and the uh elections coming up the leftist communists in this country are making their move now to take over the House and the Senate and have a one-party rule. And right now, this is it. This is their chance to imprison Trump, to rob us of our Second Amendment rights, to unleash another pandemic on us, and America will fall. So I don't know if we will be in a civil war or attacked, but I truly believe something is going to happen, and uh, you have to be prepared for that. Now, time does not stop for anyone, including myself. We have sold this house, bought another house, and we have to be out of this house uh, in April, and I am buying the other house in March, so I am going to probably be moving all of this by myself because the missus has been in the hospital. She just got out and I've been doing this by myself and uh, she's doing, can only do a little bit. So time doesn't stop for anyone and you shouldn't either. You should be prepping more and more and more. Right here is a Vietnam stretcher cloth for two, you know, two man stretcher to carry people out perfectly good other than being aged the, the fabric is no tears no tor no stains is what i'm trying to say works functionally you might want to think about having a stretcher they also have uh portable stretchers that you can put in your backpack but for 35 dollars, i couldn't pass that by a couple of my get home bags one has a frame bed roll long term and then a short term get home bag all this is food. All right. So hopefully this will give you an idea of how much food you actually should have. We have popcorn. We have blueberry mix. We have carrot cake mix. We have flour, sugar, dehydrated MREs, cup of noodles, ramen noodles, just a variety. And I haven't even begun to bring up the canned food. When God said, feed my people, and he was going to put them in my way, I took it literally, and I wanted to make sure nobody went hungry. He also meant feed the word of scripture, which I have been on a crash course learning his word and uh, trying to help anybody I can. I've already given away probably a half a dozen blankets or so, 50 pounds of sugar to somebody that needs it, blankets for their kids because they were cold. Um, you know, just trying to help out in any way I can. So thank you for liking and subscribing. Please get yourself right with God. Time is very short. I truly believe that. Repentance of your sins, baptized, submerged in water is key. Asking for forgiveness, taking Jesus Christ into your heart. Because this is for you and you only when you do that. God says save yourself. It's not a group plan. All right. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Greg out.